Well, this is a uh, formal session of court of the United States District Court. And on behalf of myself and all the district judges and all the judges on the court of the District of New Mexico, I welcome you this morning. And uh, it's maybe a little early, but I am going to congratulate you um, for being here and the steps that you have taken uh, to become citizens of the United States. You know, as uh, judges on the court, so many things that we have to do as judges uh, are not always happy. But this is a different kind of ceremony. It is a happy day because uh, we are here uh, to help you celebrate this very, very important day uh, for you and your friends and your family uh, as you um, become uh, citizens of the United States. I want to recognize our mayor of the city of Las Cruces. Good morning, Mr. Mayor. I uh, am told that Mrs. Miyagashima uh, is here this morning also to be naturalized citizen. So good morning to you, ma'am. My name is Rosario Miyagishima, Rosie, and I came from Mexico, Ciudad Juarez, Chihuahua. I was born in Ciudad Juarez, Chihuahua. What made you come to the U.S., and how did you end up in Las Cruces? Okay, um, I come in because um, my kids, that way they can be in, in schools in... I came to El Paso, uh -huh, and they studied there, and I was in El Paso. I was living in El Paso for 12 years. Yes. What was the other question? What made you, how did you come to Las Cruces? Oh, because I married uh, the mayor of Las Cruces. <laughs> uh, we met in, in 2012, September 2012, in the Mexican consulate in El Paso. The process was, uh, in my case, uh, took three years because uh, my husband is American citizen, but for all the people is five years. I have to tell you that I never realized how difficult it is to become a United States citizen, how much paperwork there is involved, and why attorneys specialize in immigration law. You're becoming a, a, a citizen of the greatest country in the world, and you know there's some other countries around the world that don't particularly like us, and they want to make sure that when you're coming here, you, you are a citizen of this of this country and you will uh, defend and and if needed you do what, what needs to do to to uh, protect uh, liberty and justice so but I never realized how much uh, there is you all have traveled very different paths some people become citizens because they're born here some people are United States citizens because they're naturalized well, one of the hallmarks of the United States citizenship is that it doesn't matter how you become a United States citizen. The law of the United States makes no distinction. Virginia Beckworth, I am a resident of New Mexico for three years. I actually became a voter registration agent about a year and a half ago. This is my fourth naturalization ceremony to come and register voters. Um, I started about a year ago coming out here, so I've hit every one but one in the last year. What's your experience with the people who come up to you to register? It's been fabulous, just absolutely fabulous. The first time I came, I cried. <laughs> um, I have met wonderful people that I might not ever have met in my normal life. I think my favorite story is that the last time I was here, I registered a 91-year-old man who spoke no English, and I don't speak Spanish, but I worked with him, we got him registered, I got a hug and a kiss on the cheek, and that was, it, it's just thrilling to know that they're new citizens and they're registering to vote, and that's what's so important. Uh, my name is Stanislav Yeroman, uh, Stas for short, uh, I came immigrating from uh, Ukraine. I am a mechanic, certified mechanic, and certified parts uh, advisor and service advisor. In Las Cruces? In Silver City. I came to the United States in 2007. Uh, my mom is actually is the one that brought me here. Um, first of all, it's better living here than there. Um, I still f miss my family. 
um, but there's a brighter future here. You have come with different cultures. You have different beliefs. You might have different languages, but while no citizen is above the law, every citizen is equal under the law. And don't let, any, let anybody try to persuade you otherwise. My name is Josie Wolf, and I'm from the Philippines. It's been like three years ago, and um, I was a naturalized citizen. I came from the Philippines. I'm here again because I am a citizen, and I'm here to support my friend. Um, she do the process to become a citizen legally. Of course, um, yeah, I'm here to support her. Uh, I'm Rodelia English Nichols. I came from the Philippines. I was married the first time, and he's a Filipino, but he's an American citizen. But that marriage is a very, very bad marriage for me. So I feel sad and I feel bad at that time. But I never give up. My mother told me, no, don't give up. Maybe this is not, this person is not meant for you. So maybe you can find a man who can bring you for eternity. So I was pray and pray to our Heavenly Father, and God answers my prayers. So I met a man, his name is Lee Nichols, and he's the one who brought me here in America. Doing the process, it's kind of hard. Uh, it takes a lot of, you, you know, so you have to study about the history of the America, um, politics, um, about what's America all about. And um, it's different from where I came from in the Philippines. Here in America, you have freedom, equal rights, and um, you got a lot of opportunity. You are guaranteed, guaranteed equal protection under the law. Along with that guarantee, ladies and gentlemen, our newest citizen, you are blessed with certain rights. But in just the same way, you have responsibilities as citizens, and you've sworn to accept those responsibilities. David Fierro, and from Mexico. Because of my parents, my dad was originally a USA citizen. Uh, um, he brought me when I was 12 years old. That was in 86, 1986. The challenge was just a language barrier uh, at first. And, but after that, after middle school, high school, everything, uh, I married somebody from here, so everything has been going well since then. I work at a dealership, Peterbilt dealership, trucks, but I'm also a pastor. Uh, yeah, I'm a pastor of the Pentecostals of Las Cruces. It's a United Pentecostal Church. Your Honor, today we have 141 applicants for naturalization representing these 19 countries. When I call your country's name, please stand and remain standing. Canada, China, Colombia, Cuba, Dominican Republic, Egypt, Germany, Guatemala, India, Japan, Jordan, Nicaragua, Nigeria, Panama, Philippines, South Korea, Thailand, Ukraine, Mexico. Oh, uh, if you can just see what I can see from here and what a beautiful sight it is to see each of you uh, while Ms. God sings this song. It's a, it's a beautiful day. It's a wonderful day. And so what are your plans now that you're a citizen? What does it mean to you to finally be an American citizen? Ah, That's my question. So happy. I'm, I'm, it's great. Now I can vote. Like these past elections with my husband, I was like sad because I, I, I didn't vote. But now I'm, I, I, I'm happy. I'm happy because now I can vote. I can, I can ex express my, my thinking. <laughs> oh, it's incredible. You know, um, the United States is the greatest country in the world. And to be a, 
a, a citizen of the United States is, is for a lot of people a dream and this is obviously was one of her big dreams coming true as well and mine. Being able to vote is very important um, and I'll do my best to participate. It means a lot to me. Um, it's very uplifting. Um, it's finally be able to breathe and uh, be a part of this country. Um, very uplifting. <laughs> For me, it means a lot, and I'm so happy that God given me this wonderful opportunity to become a U.S. citizenship. So how do you feel seeing your friend being naturalized today? What does it mean to you? It means a lot and I'm proud for her and I'm so happy for her. It feels kind of a, a relief, you know. Uh, uh, I've been here for 30 years and, you know, some of my family have already become citizens and some have not. But to me it's just, it's just relief. I'm glad, I'm happy about it. I'm excited about it. Well, they have done a lot to reach the point of being naturalized <laughs> citizens. They put in all the effort, they've done all the work, they've become citizens, and it is so important for them. After everything they've done, voting is something that is just, should be at the top of their mind. Our system depends on it. And this way, as citizens, you are the boss. And it brings to mind a phrase by the late United States Supreme Court Justice Louis Brandeis. And I think it's appropriate at this event and at any time. And speaking of your role and your position of authority, he said, and I've modified it somewhat slightly, he said the only title in our democracy that's superior to that of judge senator, congressional representative, or even president. The one title that is superior is the title of citizen. And that's the title that you now hold. Congratulations to each one of you and to your family and your friends who are also here to help you celebrate. But before you sit down, please join me in congratulating all of our youth, new United States citizens, please be seated.